you're going to need two balloons and inflation is not very crucial because you're not using anywhere near the entire balloon and you'll need some scissors as well so the first balloon will form the petals and you'll notice i just inflated it um, just leaving eight inches at the end really not very crucial at all because we're only going to be using a small portion of the balloon when you make the flower balloon ring you have to think small and then we have the green and pretty much we're only using a little section here for the stem and the rest will form the bracelet kind of a rubber band that goes around the wrist so let's get started with our petals again with the flower balloon ring think small now when you make a twist normally a basic twist uh, we're going to make five basic twists here normally you pinch and twist but you want this to be as small as possible because it's going to go on the hand and, and you want a tiny flower so in order to do that you have to push here to to reduce the air here and it makes a smaller basic twist so let me show you how that looks. I'm gonna pinch and then twist. Making an ultra small basic twist. Notice how I'm holding it here, otherwise it would come undone. And then I creep my hand over and I squeeze here and I do the exact same thing. Notice I have to hold everything. So squeeze and Next basic twist, and we're gonna do three more. Remember to hold over here with the left hand. You have five essentially petals for your balloon. And this is pretty much it for the ring. You're gonna take the nozzle here and you're going to wind it into here, best you can. This won't hold it. We're gonna to have to actually cut off the rest of this balloon. So here's what I would suggest you do. Go get some scissors and we're going to squeeze this and give a lot of slack in here. Now with a lot of slack here, we can use the scissors and cut. So take your scissors and let's just cut it. And let the rest deflate. Now be careful here, you're gonna tie these two ends together. Just use a conventional knot. And you do have to keep pressure on them to make sure they don't deflate. Make it as tight as you can. And there, that's turning out quite nicely. Now be careful with this part, you're gonna have to trim these extra ends off. And there you have your petals of your flower ring. Now let's make the stem and the bracelet part. Take your green balloon, you're probably gonna to wanna to use green. And what we're going to do is, we're gonna make a small basic twist. Now bend it. You can leave it like this as your stem but I like to turn it into a pinch twist, so let's do that. So you're gonna take the nozzle here and twist it into this part here. Fold it and twist. And there you have a pinch twist. Now you have your pedals, you have your Pinch twist or basic twist here, you're gonna feed this through the center of your flower.
There you have your flower. Now all you have to do is trim off the rest of the balloon. So pretty much all I do is just take the slack here and we're just gonna cut it. Allow it to uh, deflate. And there you have a a ring balloon right there.